one of the things he said was, okay, what is gravity? So usually force interacts through some, some sort of material, right? I pull on Dylan, he goes this way, and he goes that way. Right? But what was gravity at? This is, this is what Einstein was really trying to tap. So what he said is that gravity was essentially matter acting and, and bending space-time. So of course this model is supposed to represent space-time, space-time itself. Of course there are some weaknesses of the model, like the fact that space is actually 3D, this is the 2D plane which we're viewing it on, and the fact that on this, on this sheet of spandex there's friction, and in, when we see orbits in real life there will be no friction. And you'll see what I mean later. So basically, he said, he, he, he postulated how matter would affect each other. So if you have one piece of matter in space-time, you can see a little dimple here, it's bending space-time. So, so that's one of the things he said. And th that also implies a couple other things, like if you have two points that are bending space-time, they will attract each other because of the dimples they make in the supposed space-time. So what happens if we have two objects that aren't really of the same mass, one that's much larger than, there's a big one, one that's much larger than the other one. So we can see that makes a huge dimple, a, a, a large force of gravity, right, so it would attract things more. So see, we take this, this thing, so we could, we could, so let's say that's the sun, and let's say this is the earth. What happens, or not the earth, just some various other piece of matter. It's attracted! Wow! So, so, so in this scenario, we see that the large, the, the object with the large amount of mass obviously attracts the object with the small amount of mass. So, in actuality, the small one would also affect the large one, but it's, 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 the effect is so small that we, that we can sort of count it as negligible. So what if we give this small mass a horizontal, or this small mass, a horizontal velocity as it approaches the large object that we say, say is the sun, right? Let's see if I can... Okay, maybe we need a heavier one. No, you just gotta... So we give it a horizontal velocity, and oh my gosh, it orbits! So, and then we can see it, it eventually, you know, goes to the middle, hits the object, which won't happen in, in real life, well, in space. That's one of the weaknesses of the model, is that these marbles experience friction as they orbit, and of course they eventually fall down. So, so we can say this is like a sun-planet system, where we have planets orbiting the sun, like in our solar system. But wait, we have a moon, right? Jupiter has several moons. What then? How does that work in this model? Well, we can show that as well. So, let's see if we can get this to work. We got to work yesterday very, really well. So, let's say we have the sun, and let's say we have this, this mass called the Earth, and let's say we have this mass called the moon. The moon's obviously smaller than the Earth, Earth is obviously smaller than the sun, right? So, let's see if I can do it. So, the, the moon... Uh, not, not perfect. So, the Earth is affected by the dimple that the sun makes, and, and the moon is affected by the dimple that the Earth makes. And they're all affected by the sun, which is affected by other factors as well. And then the sun is affected by the Earth, etc., etc. Right? So, that's, that's another thing we can show. Uh, what else? So, that's one of the cool things we can show. Oh, wait, what was that? That's one of the cool things we can show. A moon orbiting... A... no. A moon <laughs> orbiting a planet. Right? No. No. So, no. so, in the case of Jupiter and stuff, they have multiple of those running around. We can oh, really... Yeah. Sort of. So, there are a couple of other cool things that we can show using this. For example... Yeah, let's have a binary star system. Yes. So let's just... We'll do that after. So, so, what we have here is two massive objects. Say that's one sun and that's another sun, right? And we have a small, a small planet, right? Now, what will happen if we give it a horizontal velocity such that it can orbit both? Well, let's see if we can get this to work. Oh. This might take a few tries. We see... no. <laughs> we can see that it... Oh, sorry. 
That one. That one. Yeah, we can see. There we go. That will do. Well, that will travel in a figure eight formation, which is interesting because we can actually observe this in space in some situations. Apollo 13 did that. Yeah. So, so this is kind of this. So you can see this is one of the cool things that can happen with with gravity. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it. So that's that's also one of the cool things we can show. We can also 